friends, welcome to CSC's Pause and Ponder. My name is BS, the Youth and Young Adults Pastor. Today we're pausing to ponder on Exodus 3, verses 11 to 12 and 14 and 15. It reads like this. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? And God said, Certainly I will be with you, and this shall be the sign to you that it's I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God at this mountain. Verse 14. And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, This you shall say to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me to you. And God furthermore said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the sons of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial name to all generations, to all who call upon me. God was calling Moses out of the desert to go to Egypt. After Moses had fled from Egypt to save his life, he was taking care of sheep for 40 years in the desert. You see, Moses might have felt like he knew who he was, when he was in Egypt as a prince, as a, as a Hebrew. Maybe then he thought he was the chosen one to bring salvation to the Israelites. Plans had changed. Circumstances changed his position. He was wanted dead. And now he finds himself in the desert taking care of sheep. And God calls him. God calls Moses. And he says, Moses says, who am I? If we're real today, how many of us have felt like that or even have said the same words, who am I? Moses felt disqualified. He didn't think he had it in him. But out of this passage, I love God's response. He says, as surely I will be with you. I am who I am. The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. That is who God is. God take the focus out of Moses and places it on himself. God's identity was more important than who Moses was. When we know the God who is with us, we can step forward confidently to do his will. I am who I am. It's such an extraordinary declaration from God because this is God's declaration that there is no equal to him but except himself. So today, if you feel unqualified or have asked the question, who am I? Know that who am I? I am who I am is calling you to himself. So remember, lean into Jesus and refocus on who God is.